Alrighty, we have a canless LED uh, light here that was defective because it got wet. And as you can see, it has three wires coming out of it, a red, a black, and a white. And we have to replace it, and I'll show you the new one we're putting in. It's the exact same model. And there's the one we're putting in. Okay, so here's the light, the box we have to take down here. Okay, so this is long enough. All right. Okay, so what happened is uh, there was a leak upstairs here, a pipe broke, and this all got wet inside, so we have to uh, take this all apart. So we just pull all our connectors off. This is the little box that got all wet and waterlogged. Okay, so we'll open up our little box here before we hook our wires in. And we have our black and our white and our yellow with green, which is the round. Okay, so we'll just open up one of our little holes here to uh, put our Romex connector onto. Turn our Romex connector so it's nice and tight there. Okay, so we'll stick our wires in through our holes here. Here we got our Romex connector on there, our wires going in evenly there, it's centered. So now we can just plug our wires back in. We we'll put our black back on here with the black like this. I feel that little barb, I'll just push it in, I'll make sure our copper comes up and seats on the uh, end. Put the white wire in like this. I see the co little copper showing at the top here, and I'll, I'll push it in. 
And I'll look and I'll see the copper coming down to the bottom of the plastic here. And I'll take our green wire, push it in the hole, make sure the copper came up to the top there, like that. That's what we want. We'll fold our wires into our box here like this. Okay, now we can fold our wires back into our box, all the 18 gauge tail wires here. Get everything all in like that here. We'll just close it. Now we'll put our uh, light on here. As you can see, there's a little key inside here. You gotta line it up with the little key. So, little key lines up like that. Then you just take your uh, thread piece here and just turn it down on this. And it's all hooked up. Now we gotta, this can go up here in the bottom, in the ceiling. And this will just go in the hole like this. But we gotta cut that hole a little bit bigger. I wanna show you something. There is a switch on the light that changes the uh, Okay, I'm gonna go up here and show you the switch. So, all right. Make sure that blanket's covering the floor, Dave. Okay. Okay, so uh, the switch on the side here changes the uh, tone of the light. See how it changes the tone? So we want it on this one here. So we're going to take and we're going to put this light up here like this. We're going to trace around it. Just put it up here like this to trace it. So we cover the hole like this. And we'll trace, we'll cut along that inside that hole there so we don't make it too big. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna pull that tarp out so I don't get in the on the rug. And I'll pull the little blanket out so the rug is covered. Okay. Tell me when you're ready. Okay. Oh you're gonna come in? Yeah I got okay. a vacuum while okay. you're cutting. Okay. Okay. What the hell do you think we're doing here, baby? Okay. I'll close the camera. Come on, man. Yep. Okay, now we're going to go up and start cutting the hole here. So on this here. Let's see if we can all see.
All righty, that is how to replace a uh, canless LED light fixture that got waterlogged here in the country I was born in. Inside that box, the black wire was live, the white was the neutral, and the bare is the ground. We use 14 American wire gauge on 15 amps, 12 American wire gauge on 20 amps. Peace. Thanks for watching.